Hi guys and welcome back to another championship video. Moving into round 40 now, it's so very close to the end of the season. Some of these games are so important. Quick recap on round 39, two scores correct and only nine games were played. So that's pretty good going and they're actually both the early kickoffs on the Saturday that I got right. Coventry drawing away at Derby 1 all and Sheffield United beating Barnsley 2 0. I mean, to get the first two games both correct, both early kickoffs, made me think I was in for a special weekend, but only got those two. I'll still take out nine fixtures. I think that's good going, and hopefully, we can get some more scores here. Let's get in to my predictions. And starting off with Hull taking on Huddersfield. Now Hull, they've only won 2 out of 10, but they're currently 13 points above the relegation zone. So they're looking like they're going to stay in the championship this season. I do think the relegation battles are bottom 4 now. So anyone above that, which is Hull the next team, I think they're safe. Huddersfield... They've lost two in a row after 17 league games unbeaten. Now that's a very impressive feat. Are we going to see them drop off now because they're only just in the playoffs because there's so many teams up there that are putting good runs of form together. After 17 games in the league unbeaten, it will be very unfortunate for Huddersfield not to get a playoff spot. But I don't think they'll end up in the playoffs. It's just so tight up there. There's so much quality. And I think Huddersfield have been overperforming so far. They will pick up more points this season. But I just think it's going to be a slow decline from here. I do, however, think they'll win this one. But if they lose it, it sort of shows you where Huddersfield are at. And that they, they probably will drop out of those playoff spots. But I'm going to go Huddersfield to win 2-1. A tough fixture to call up next. Blackpool taking on Forest. And Blackpool unbeaten in four and held Sheffield United to a 0-0 draw last time out. Nottingham Forest, they're unbeaten in seven. And they beat playoff rivals QPR 3-1 in their last match. A massive statement from them. And I think Forrest will get playoffs this season. After such a poor start, Chris Hewton obviously was sacked. They've really turned their season around. I think they'll get playoffs. And I think they might even have a good chance of going up. They seem to be hard to beat. In good form. They've got good players. Could be Forrest's season. For this one, I'm going to go... For something you might not expect considering what I've just said. But I think Blackpool have... They have like quite a good a good way of understanding how to play against the top teams. They always seem to stop people when they're in runs. Things like that. I've just got a feeling that Blackpool are going to do to Forest what they did to Sheffield United. I'm hoping for goals. So I'm going to go down the middle. one all. Bournemouth take on Bristol City next. And Bournemouth, unbeaten in four, and they beat Huddersfield 3-0 last time out. And you've got to think, it's only a matter of time before Bournemouth clinch automatic promotion. Bristol City, they've only won one out of their last six. They drew their last game 2 all against West Brom. Bristol City are uh, quite a strange team to predict because... They've got some good attackers. Andreas Weimann's had a very good season. They can get goals. They're quite leaky at the back, however. And it's just a bit chaotic. When when I tend to look at Bristol City scores, there tend to be quite a few goals. And I'm thinking for this one that Bournemouth have got too much for them. So I'm going to go Bournemouth to win 2-1. An absolutely massive game up next. Could really decide who gets relegated. Barnsley taking on Reading. There's a five point gap here. Reading five points ahead. Same amount of games played. Barnsley have got better goal difference. 
So you've got to think, if Reading win this, an eight-point gap, it looks like the bottom three will go down. But if Barnsley win it, two points behind, all to play for, and Barnsley are in better form, so you'd have to think maybe Barnsley will escape. Barnsley, they've won three out of their last eight, which is good for a team you know, in the relegation zone. They did lose their last game 2-0 to Sheffield United, but that's a tough game for any team in the division. Reading, they won their last game 1-0 against Blackburn. Didn't expect it. I mean, if they'd have lost that or drawn it, this game would have been even even more tight. But they, they won it, got some good points on the board. That came after four games without a win. How do I think this one's going to go? It's so difficult. Put down in the comments who you think will win this or if you think it'll be a draw. And ultimately, who you think will stay up. But it's going to be... A very, very tense occasion. I think it's going to be dictated by one goal. And I'm going to go for the home side to take all three points and make it interesting. I think Reading, Lucas Yao, John Swift, they're the two players you always talk about with Reading this season. Very good players. But can they carry this team that far against the Barnsley team at home who are in a Bit of better form, and they're really going to want to, you know, just stay defensively nice, try and push on, and like probably get a late goal. That's going to be it. So maybe I should go for a 1 0. There's been a few games where it's two teams near the bottom and they don't want to lose, but I think Reading have always got a goal in them. But I do think Barnsley will win. So I'm going to go. Barnsley to take all three points, 2-1. A South Wales derby next, Cardiff taking on Swansea. And Cardiff, they're unbeaten in four with three wins, so they're in good form. Can they carry this into this match? I'm not sure because it's always such a, such a big occasion for these teams. And you can never tell how this game's going to go, really. It's quite difficult to call. Swansea drew 0-0 with Blues last time out. Probably should have lost that game, Swansea, but Blues couldn't take their chances, and it ultimately ended 0-0. I think, to be honest, this, you know, both teams on the beach, there's a lot of pride to fight for, but I think, for some reason... It's going to be a pretty boring draw. I don't know why, but I'm going to go nil-nil. Coventry take on Blackburn next. Coventry, they looked all set to be in a playoff race after demolishing Sheffield United 4-1. A massive result. Looked like they could put a push together. But since then, they've lost 2-0 to Hull. And drawn one all with Derby. After beating Sheffield United 4-1. You'd expect better results from those two games. And I think their playoff dreams are now over. But it's been a very good season for Coventry. So you know getting a top half finish. Which it's looking like they'll do. Is a very good result. Not being in the relegation zone at all. Was probably their goal at the start of the season. So they've had a brilliant season. Really progressed. And I'm sure they can carry on progressing. Blackburn, sixth in the table. They were on a brilliant run. They've had some bad form since, I don't know, since the turn of the year has it been? They've just really seemed to struggle. They do what Blackburn have done for a few seasons. They don't normally do so well that long into the season. But they always drop off at some point. And it looks like it's happening. There's teams below that are lurking with games in hand. They've only won one out of their last five games. And they lost 1-0 to Reading in their last game. Very poor result. And I don't think Blackburn will be in a playoff spot by the end of the season. For this, 
I'm not sure how to call it. I think it's a very, very difficult match. Either team could win it, but Blackburn just, they are struggling at the moment. Coventry, not the greatest, not the greatest form, but they are quite spiky. I'm just going to go down the middle, one all. Derby take on Preston next. Big game for Derby. Chance to get some more points on the board against a team that don't really have anything to play for. Derby, they've only won one out of seven. They drew their last game one all with Coventry, which is a good result. You need all the points you can get when you're down there. Preston, they've won one, drew three, lost one of their last five. So a lot of draws, which we already knew about Preston. But they did lose their last game 4-0 against Luton. They were absolutely swept away by a very good Luton side. But I just think with them having nothing to play for, Derby being at home, Derby obviously needing points, I've got a feeling Derby are going to win this or at least get a point out of it. But I'm going to go all the way. Derby to win 1-0. A very big game next in terms of the playoffs. One team at the top of the playoffs, the other is sitting in 10th place, but they're in good form and there's everything to play for still. Luton take on Millwall. Luton, they've been in brilliant form and they've hit it just at the right time. If you're there or thereabouts when it comes to the playoffs, if you hit form at the tail end of the season, you will end up in those one of those spots. They've won six out of eight. They've scored seven goals in their last two matches. Luton mean business. Sitting in third. Would never have seen this coming, but fair play to them. Millwall, on the other hand, they were unbeaten in eight. Then they lost 2-0 to Stoke. It's going to be interesting to see how they bounce back. Because, you know, a lot of teams just... You know, that they're sort of running on you know, all the emotion and, you know, you're doing so well and you've got a lot of belief. Then you lose a game and the teams can sometimes just drop off. With this Millwall side, I don't think that's the case. But I'm going to go for a scoreline that I was going for Millwall a lot of the, at the start of the season. It's a draw because that's Millwall. Maybe not now. But definitely last season. Down the middle, one all. Peterborough take on Middlesbrough next. A big game at both ends of the table here. Peterborough got their first win after 15 without one. Came against QPR, 3-1. Brilliant result for them. QPR haven't been in the best form, but that's really damaged their playoff chances now. And it's helped Peterborough out a lot. And they've been scoring quite a few goals recently. I've seen a few twos. Obviously, they've just scored three against QPR and won it. Could they make a push and somehow escape from the pla uh, from the relegation zone? That would be a miracle for Peterborough. But can they build on that win against QPR? It's going to be interesting to see. Middlesbrough, seventh in the league. Won their last game 2-0 against Blues. And they're looking destined for a playoff spot. Now, I do think that, you know, Middlesbrough aren't uh, are very good at home. Don't pick up as many points away. Peterborough, normally better at home, but I've started pick up, picking up a few away points. I don't know where to go with this because both teams are obviously fighting. They've still got something to play for. Who wants it more? That's the question. Middlesbrough have the quality. Do Peterborough have the team spirit to win the match? I'm going to go down the middle. I feel like I've said that a lot. But when it comes to this end of the season, two teams can play each other that have nothing to play for. Probably going to be pretty boring. And two teams can play each other that have everything to play for. Going to be tight. So I'm going to go another draw, one all. QPR take on Fulham next. And QPR, they've lost four out of their last five games. 
Their last game, 3-1 loss to Peterborough. They're really struggling. I don't think they'll be in the playoffs at the end of the season. After such a good start, they kept it up for so long. But their form has really dropped off. And it's going to cost them. Fulham, top of the league. They're going to win the league, surely, from here. And they were unbeaten in five, but then they lost 1-0 to West Brom. West Brom seem to have got their act together as well a bit, but, you know, we'll get to that soon. But Fulham, I think they've got enough to win this game. Well, they obviously do their top of the league. And QPR's form isn't good enough. QPR are at home. You know, it's a London derby. So I expect QPR to put up a fight. But I just think Fulham, they've got too much for them. So I'm going to go Fulham to win 2-1. Stoke take on Sheffield United next. And Stoke, they won 2-0 in their last game to put a stop to Millwall's unbeaten run. Very good result for Stoke, not that it means much. But they hadn't won in eight before that. Can Stoke have a good end to the season at least? After, you know, such a promising start... They then dropped off, couldn't win a game, and it, it went badly for them again. Stoke are really struggling in the championship. I expected them to get out quite quickly, but they just haven't really progressed. Sheffield United, they're sitting in seventh place. Out of their last six games, won two, drew two, lost two. So they're, you know, picking up points, but they are a bit... That they do fluctuate and they're a difficult team to call. Uh, I don't really know which way this is going to go again because Stoke might start to have a good end to the season. I'm just going to go with placing the table. I think Sheffield United have got quality and I think that's going to shine here. So Sheffield United to win 2 0. And the last game, a big one. Blues take on West Brom. And it doesn't mean much this game. I don't think either side, you know, will be in a different league next season. Both going to be still in the championship. But West Brom have obviously picked up their form just before this game. Blues, we drew 0-0 with Swansea in our, our last game. And it got to a point where you just had to laugh. We had so many chances... Some of the misses we had in that game, you know, you wouldn't see three misses like that normally, you know, in a weekend. Yet we missed all of them in one game. It was, it was, it was comical, really. And it just sort of sums Blues up. Just not very clinical. We can do the build-up play. We can create chances. We can fizz balls in the box. But there's either no one there or... You know, someone just can't finish. And then at the other end, we, we're not very good at all. We're not composed at the back. We tend to let teams score off one chance. And that's sort of the way our seasons went. However, we were good defensively against Swansea. You know, kept a clean sheet, which is always positive. And I'm sure we'll be more clinical. We can't miss keep missing chances like that. It, it, it would just be ridiculous if we went into this game and missed more chances like that. I'm expecting a strong lineup as well for this West Brom game. After an international break, we had a few injuries, a few players maybe not at full fitness. I think it's going to be a strong lineup and we're going to go for the win here. West Brom, they're unbeaten in four, drew two all with Bristol City. They also beat Fulham in those four games. So West Brom have turned. You know, turned it on really towards the end of the season. Too late for them for a, a playoff charge. But it's going to be an interesting game. Interesting stat as well. The last 10 attempts that Blues have had at this game, we haven't won. So, and I didn't look any further than that to be honest. It, it's probably longer than that. But I just looked at the last 10 and we had no wins in all competitions so difficult difficult match historically it hasn't been good for us you know over the last like sort of 10 15 years 
But I sense a shock. I think us having a strong squad out, West Brom, you know, might be a bit demotivated because they had such high expectations, haven't achieved them. I'm going to go all out on a Blues win here. Stupid thing to do, but I've just got some confidence after the international break. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter because the chances of us getting relegated are minimal. I don't even think we need any more points this season and we'd be fine. But Blues, let's get a win. Come on, would be brilliant to win this fixture. So I'm going to go Blues to win 1-0. So those are my predictions for these upcoming championship fixtures. Make sure to put your predictions down below. Some big games here. So if you've got any big shouts, put them down below as well. You might have something that you think is going to happen. But it's quite quite out there. If you put it down below, at least you've said it. And if it comes in, then someone knows about it. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more championship content. Up the blues.